Happy Tuesday, everybody. You know, it's a great day, even though I have the day off from work, or it seems like no work today, uh, which, you, you know, kind of stinks, a guy on a budget and all, but I'm happy. I'm rejoicing. And part of it is because of this puffy, fluffy story in the Conway Daily Sun. Yes, you see, not only do I get to assault the media, I get to show you that New Hampshire's governor, Maggie Hassan, is quite a vile and evil woman, comes to find out. Now, you may know that she recently backed the medical marijuana bill. That was to get your vote. She's beaten the hell out of the bill. Uh, it's so limited that, as you'll see, if you read this post, now this is the fluffy part, right? Conway Daily Sun... Hassan, never give up. She's speaking to 20 students who graduated from the Eagle Academy. And that is great. Yes, she's absolutely right. Never give up. Unless it's your son with cerebral palsy, ma'am. Yes, Maggie Hassan's son has cerebral palsy. If you read the medical marijuana bill, it's not in there. No. No, it's not. Now, you could go through hell, high water, and an application... If your doctor's behind you and somehow convince the state that someone with cerebral palsy should have access to medical marijuana. No, no. Maggie Hassan would rather let her son sound similar to this fine young woman. Mm -hmm. I'm born mm, with um, cerebral um, um, palsy which uh, most noticeably manifests itself in a, um, in a severe sad daughter. And uh, the right side of my body is much um, noticeably weaker than my uh, left. I have a, a... Okay, so you get the idea. That's not fun. That's Maggie Hassan's son. Uh, well, not in the video, obviously. Because they'll try to twist it, right? Uh, let's be clear. That's not her son. Um, and if you think that was a, a solitary case, it's not. Do some research. Okay? Um, and quite painful, I'm sure. And you can see, I saw other information, people, uh, Texas, all over the place, where they criminalize marijuana. People with cerebral palsy um, using it anyway. Now, there, there's 150 other things that we could be using this for. Um, and even if it's as little as a relaxant uh, for some people, might call it ADHD medicine, uh, it, whatever. It goes on and on and on and on and on. Uh, I'm going to link you to the bill. You need to read it yourself because this is the same fucking thing Obama did. Okay, going to back, uh, lay off medical marijuana. That's all he had to do was tell you that he was going to lay off, that the federal government wasn't going to spend their money to attack, which was, ended up being a lie three and a half years later. Okay, the raid started again. But just to get your vote, oh, we're going to give you medical marijuana. We're going to give you medical marijuana if you're fucking three days away from death. That's no good to me, you, or anyone else. Okay? And now, beating the shit out of the bill, thanks to normal, I'll link you all this stuff. I'm not going to read everything to you because you need to start doing your own research. But I'm going to bring it to your attention. I'm going to remind you, Miss Hassan. That I fucking told you to expect me. And maybe you thought a couple of months worth of tagging you on Facebook was all that I would ever amount to. No, no, no. You're tormenting your own son, you evil bitch. It's quite clear that you don't give a fuck about me 
or anyone else in New Hampshire, if you would let your son suffer this way. You also see that people with PTSD or uh, bipolar disorder, I'm sorry, bipolar disorder, I believe, was removed from the medical marijuana bill. So she's not fully backing a medical marijuana bill. She's not allowing you to grow it in your own home. Although it grows on the earth, you can't grow it in your home. No, no, no. You're going to have to drive fucking hundreds of miles to one of the four, I think. You're going to allow four dispensaries. Give four corporations the fucking monopoly to the market. For the limited few that you will allow. Fuck you, Maggie Hassan. Fuck you, live free or die. My balls. Legalize the fucking plant or get the fuck out of my state. Period. It's time for the rest of you to get behind me. Because first of all, even if you're opposed to it, you have no right to tell me what I can grow on my own land, what I can keep in my own pocket. I'm not walking around blowing hits in your face, but God damn you, if you don't legalize the plant, I may just start doing that. If I'm such a torment to you, and I'm such a criminal to you, to possess the plant, Miss Hassan, you can fucking rest assured that I will become a torment to you. Whether I have indulged in the plan or not, you see, I've had enough of the fucking bullshit. I've had enough of the live free or die. Oh, yeah. Chances are you're going to fucking die. Because you're not living free. You're not living free. It's bullshit. Anyway, I I'm so fucking pissed off right now, but it's very clear. The evidence is there, and I'll show you. Uh, because she gets into her own stories. I, I, I want to link you to this so you know that I had a basis for this rant. I know I just read it in the newspaper, and I came to find it on the blog. Her son, uh, has cerebral palsy. Yes, right here. Hassan talked about her own family. Her son, Ben, 24, who has cerebral palsy. He says, hello, and yes, by raising his hand. That's the type of woman that's in control of our local government here in New Hampshire. A woman who has the opportunity to pass a law that would help her own son even. What if her son didn't have to do anything other than wave to the neighbor? Because that's all he can do, God damn it. And the neighbor could go in the cupboard and bring Ben over some medicine that he grew in his own garden out back. Fuck you, Maggie Hassan. Get the fuck out of my state. And I'm going to insist that you are ran out of here. You're a vile, evil, disgusting woman. And fuck you, Conway Daly, son. Put out some new, real news other than this fluffy bullshit that makes everybody think that Miss Hassan really cares about the children. She cares about the 20 sheep-like children that obeyed the law. The written verbiage. The complete fallacy. The bullshit. Those she cares about. But we can see from the evidence that she doesn't give a fuck about her own son. And if she doesn't give a fuck about her own son, she doesn't give a fuck about me or my three sons. You were warned, Miss Hassan. And if you think just one Tuesday off is the end of this, well, you're more of a fool than the people that voted for you. <laughs>